I'm a safety pharmacologist, so we uh, test the safety of uh, compounds before they uh, enter the clinic, specifically mostly cardiovascular safety. As a laboratory worker, you, you had to have a mandatory on-site physical uh, every year. About nine years ago, the physical showed that uh, my white blood count, specifically my lymphocytes, were a little bit elevated. Now, nobody thought too much of it at the time. I had just gotten over uh, a case of bronchitis, and everybody thought that's what it was. But come next year's physical, the lymphocytes were still elevated, and uh, that's when I uh, you know, sought out my primary physician to uh, try to get a handle on what was going on. A few days later, I got a call in my office and uh, he had thought about it and contacted uh, a hematologist that he knew. And the hematologist, uh, once he heard uh, the story, said, oh, he probably has CLL. Please come in and have him see me on Friday. So it was a, a bit of a shocking conversation to have, that's for sure. The hematologist said, uh, watch and wait. Uh, that's uh, what they do for CLL. And so we sat and we watched and wait for uh, seven and a half years. Over the course of uh, 2013, I started to get more progressively anemic. My platelets started to get lower, and so this uh, meant that the, uh, the CLL was impacting my bone marrow. I also had uh, started to get some swelling of the lymph nodes around the jaw and uh, some swelling of the spleen. So in December, the anemia and the thrombocytopenia got bad enough that it was time to pull the trigger and go into some treatment. There's currently no cure for CLL, and so there are a number of options. The uh, classical treatment for it, which would have been fludarabine, cyclophosphamide, and the antibody rituxan. But I wanted something that was newer, more targeted towards the uh, cancer itself, and something that would be a, a little bit gentler on my system. Knowing full well that there are a number of other compounds uh, that are in development and actually a few of them that have already been approved since that time that are coming along that are even more targeted and effective therapies. In this case I took a, a Gaziva as a monotherapy and it was eight different infusions over the course of uh, six months. So I started the week before Christmas and I finished up on the 6th of May. You go to the infusion center, the infusions don't take too long especially after you get the first couple. Uh, you're in and out in probably about four hours or so. I was anemic going in and the antibody made me a little bit more anemic. And so uh, for the first two or three weeks, uh, it was, uh, the anemia was a little bit rough and I needed a transfusion in order to get my hemoglobin and hematocrit up. I feel great. All my blood counts uh, have returned to normal, except I have low lymphocytes, but that's the whole idea behind the treatment. All my hemoglobin, platelets, neutrophils, everything else is absolutely fine. I'm back to every three months with my hematologist. We'll watch the white count. We'll watch all the uh, other parameters on the uh, blood test. And we'll see how long the uh, remission lasts. A few years back, I thought the future was not so bright, to be honest with you. Uh, the treatment options were limited and none of them were curative. But now it looks to me uh, like there's really going to be a big change in the way that CLL is treated and I think these new compounds are going to have a significant effect on the natural course of the disease. Since we're all in it together we all need to uh, support uh, the research that's, uh, and development that's now going on uh, in the field of cancer and it's making huge huge gains I think. I think we're really on the cusp of uh, eliminating cancer uh, as, as we know it uh, in the near future.